What's going on, guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy. Welcome to a fucking video. So, um, this will be a pretty decent video for you uh, today. I have things that I bought. Uh, <laughs> um, a lot of things. Well, yeah. Anyways, first thing I want to show you, uh, in no particular order where I got these from, because I... This is basically a take two. The last time, it was a pain in the ass. Things kept happening, whatever the fuck happened, and yeah, my hair is better because it's all swept to one side. Yay. So anyways, first off, I want to show you the Atari hat I got from, um... Fuck. <laughs> Where'd I go? Ah, Hobby Lobby. Actually, this is one of the online things that I bought. Yeah, I can get it in store, but eh. Uh, and this Tetris thing. It moves, kind of, you know, it moves. It, it, it's like, uh, this, pa <clears throat> this Pac-Man thing that I got that I showed you in another video that I did. Basically, about the same topic. It's me showing off things that I bought. And... Another thing I got in the mail. And to finish off, this Legend of Zelda wall art thing. Now, am I gonna put this somewhere? I don't know. I mean, I would have to, right? Because if I don't, I don't know what else to, to do with it. So we got that. Uh, I guess, why not Just show off other things? I also got this uh, Sailor Moon thing. This, uh,. Probably the last thing I actually bought was the Sailor Moon figurine thing. Pretty cool. Pricey. But still pretty cool. Now, um, let's see. I don't know if I showed this off last time, but I got two Eevees. I probably showed off one of these in, like, the, uh, the last time I did a video on finding or buying things or whatever. Whatever the fuck the last video was. Um... And one of these EVs I got from the same place, like everything else from, pretty much, was uh, Hobby Lobby. And then the next day, I saw another EV, and I'm like, well, I'm broke. I'm done. I'm starting, I am starting an EV empire. There you go. Now, I also got, where was it? I know I put it somewhere. EV? What are you doing? Where is it? Oh, yeah, this. I went to a gas station and got this. I think it's a cat. It's got an ear as a tail. I don't know what this is from uh, or what this is. I think it's a cat. That's why I got it. Um, but it looks like it's from... Come on, tag. Stop being stupid. Uh, the Republic Rescue of the Wild. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's another thing. Uh, this Rainbow Dash thing, you basically split her head wide open, and you see her brain, which is a pop-up thingy. Yeah. Uh, wow, I removed two TRs, and everything, shit starts falling at the speed of sound, holy shit. Yeah, I got two more TRs to add to my collection, I guess. Uh, also I got from Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, I got a whole lot of shit there, but I'm not done yet with the Hobby Lobby stuff. I also got two cats. I got this cat, and I got this cat. Two cats together, having sex, making love, getting the good old... And bam, we got kittens going on. And this is what happens when you have kittens, the whole world ends. Because you let Neko's take over the world. Now, um, I also got two, I, they're, not, they're not really posters, but I guess they could be a poster. It's a calendar for My Hero Academia and Mario Kart. So I got these from Walmart. Um, I said fuck it. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this off. I also uh, got from... Um, Hobby Lobby. I keep wanting to call it five below. I don't know. Uh, three things of this. Three strings. Or 
yeah, yarn. They were 99 cents each, three of them. They are perfect for a lot of things, especially getting kinky. Woo, getting kinky. Yeah, I'm trying to get this video done as fast as possible. It's still gonna be pretty long because, um, as you will see pretty shortly, the main thing I wanted to show off in this video, and, and I, you're not gonna believe it when I fucking show you everything, but, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? I'm gonna show it off anyway. Now, um, so these were uh, a combination of things. Oh, by the way, another thing I got from Walmart was this uh, Hatsune Miku Magical Mirai thing. I didn't even know she had a Blu-ray thing until a few months ago, and I'm like, okay, sure. I didn't actually get it until uh, the other day, um, and I said, fuck it. Where's the other game? I got plenty of games. But yeah, uh, video games. And I'll be showing off the ones that I got, and where I got them from. Because some of you guys and gals need to know about my, uh, my, my video game habits, which I'm sure every one of you actually knows about that if you see my channel, and I'm just dropping shit left and right, but yeah, I love dropping shit, and I love when shit gets farting on, because every time we die, a cow gets a blowjob. No, I didn't want to go that far, you know what, no, I don't want to, I didn't want to show off Sonic fucking forces, I, I didn't get that game recently, I got that game a few months ago. All right. Anything else I want to fucking do? Your mom. Ah! All right. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, separate them a little bit. Cause that can't be it, right? It feels like I'm missing something, but I'm probably not because I don't know. I just want to get this fucking video over with. Um. Because let's be real here, for some reason my camera was being stupid and would only allow me to record for like 30 plus minutes. And then I was like, what? Why? So you got a whole bunch of parts. I didn't feel like fucking editing all of it together. I didn't feel like over an hour. Yeah, it was like basically two fucking hours of footage. That's how, um, that's how long we were, to uh, I'm talking, when, when it comes to this kind of shit. <laughs> and this was the reason why. So, um, let's talk a little bit. These games that you see right here, I got from a co-worker at work. Well, before we actually had work, uh, for the week, it was, uh, our van driver. Pretty cool guy. Um, and the person who... I was going to get it from, wasn't there, so he had to step in, and it was like, yeah, okay. Long story short, I paid 40 bucks for these games. So we got Spyro the Dragon. I never played Spyro, um, ever. And this is a Greatest Hits, I guess, version on the PS1. We got Assassin's Creed 3. But, uh, you know, underneath two discs of Assassin's Creed 3 is also the original... Assassin's Creed. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Now, I'm psyched for this game. I want to play it right now, but I don't really feel like it because... Eh... Fuck it. Uh, Sonic Riders. And by the way, I do have this game on the on the GameCube, but I wanted to get this on the PS2 because why not? Uh, this game that's totally not Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2. Um, but rather, these three discs, these three discs are a game by id Software and Bethesda called Rage. Yes, id Software and Bethesda made a game that isn't Doom or Wolfenstein. Uh, yeah, there's a game called Rage, and, you know, with Rage, it's not a bad game, I do have to say, it's a really good one. Um, I'm hyped for it. I'm psyched to play more of it. Um, now, 
Okay, so the uh, Xbox 360 games, I tested a lot of them out. Not all of them, but I tested a few of them out um, at the hotel that I was staying at because I uh, I brought my 360 to play a little bit of World at War, maybe some Skyrim. But, um, so yeah. And I decided, hey, the first game I'll try out is Rage. I made a good choice, because it was a pretty damn good game. Now, okay, let me ask you a fucking question here. Three discs, right? Two discs, I believe, are the campaign, and one is the multiplayer. Here's my question. Why couldn't you have done Doom 2016 on Xbox 360? Hell, even the PS3. I mean, if you have multiple discs that's like, Oh yeah, Doom 2016! On the 360, he's gonna have three or four discs. I mean, it's clear and obvious that you can do it because, I mean, you have three fucking discs right here. The third disc is the multiplayer. You could have like disc three or four as the multiplayer, and then the other discs are the fucking campaign, the base game for Doom 2016. But no, yet you had to release it for newer gen consoles, which I don't mind. It, the game looks glorious and awesome. The glory kills look great, and honestly. I would like to see what it would look like on a 360 or PS3. Uh, how interesting the blood effects would look and how the glory kills would look, but... Maybe some modder in the future somewhere will make a version of Doom 2016 run on a 360 so I can see exactly what that would be like. So hey, leave it up to the modders, they know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, and another game here... Fable 2, it's the greatest hits, probably couldn't really see that, but I don't care, fuck it, who cares. Uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. It's basically Ninja Storm 4 on the PS4, but on the 360, and it's the third one. <laughs> it's the same fighting game, technically speaking, it's the same whatever. Um, maybe a different story mode, because Naruto seems to go on for it. Ever. Um, <laughs> NBA Live 08 and Dead Rising 2 are in here. You know, fucking sports game and Dead Rising. Crash Team Racing! Except it's actually not. It's Spyro's Rip uh, Repto's Revenge. Or, no, Rip Repto's Rage. Um, for, again, the PS1. Uh, Namco Museum 50th Anniversary for the PS2, Ratchet and Clank going Commando for the PS2. <clears throat> That's pretty much all my, uh, my co-worker gave me. For 40 bucks, I'd say it pretty damn good. You know, pretty, pretty solid. But then, yesterday happened. It's 4 o'clock in the morning right now, so yesterday... Uh, you know, as we were getting ready to do some lunch breaking, you know, going to lunch and whatnot, I saw this game store. So I was going to get a little bit of pizza, and, you know, once I got the pizza, I would go into the store. But when I went to the game shop, I was greeted with this price right here for a lot of the games. three ninety nine, And I said, Damn! That's a good price! Can't beat that! So I bought a game. And then another one. Then another one. Then another one. Then another one. Then a fuck another one. All these games that you see right here. All of these. The ones. That, not these. No, there's a, there's a guy from a coworker, like I said. Uh, but all these games I got from the same fucking place. And it's a place, uh, I believe it's called Elite Games, and I believe they're in Pennsylvania, because that's where we were, I believe. I think we were in Pennsylvania, doing the Hobby Lobby. Um, and so, <laughs> I bought games. Games are fucking plenty. So many games, I don't know what the fuck to do with them all. I mean, play them, obviously, but like, where do I put them? I mean, I, I don't want to start a new stack of PS3 games, but I don't want to put the, the PS3 games I've already got on, you know, that I bought on top of the other ones, because they're going to fall, and that's going to cause a chain reaction of, of PS2 games to fall, and then the, the, the 
PS4 games to fall, and then back to PS2, and everything's gonna start falling. I'm gonna have to separate them, and blah, 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 it's a pain in the ass. But hey, I got a lot of games. Now, as I was doing the video the first time, I counted something like 43 games. Yes, 43 new games! Well, some I may have already had, either for previous consoles or had in general. Uh, like Assassin's Creed 3, I've already got that game. But it's nice having another copy. But, you know, 43 bucks, and you're gonna be shocked at how much money I paid for all of these games combined. So, 40 bucks for all the games that I got from my coworker. And then, the other ones, all of these, um, let's see, where, where did I put the... Alright, there it is. Before I list off the games, a hundred and fifty-eight eighty-two. Yes, a hundred and fifty-eight dollars and eighty-two cents. I paid for all of these games right here that you're about to see. So in total, less than two hundred dollars. Yes, less than two hundred fucking dollars. I spent on fucking forty plus games. And I say that's a damn good deal, especially when you see the games that are about to show the fuck up here on the camera. So, in no particular order, uh, Red Faction Armageddon for the PS3, it's $399. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the first one, $499 on the PS2. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Division for the PS4, $499. Disney Golf, $399, PS2. Call of Duty Ghosts, $599 for the 360. Army Men Green Rogue, $399. PS2. Fantavision, also $399. Now, as you, you can kind of see a pattern here. $399, $399, $399, $399, $399. There's a whole bunch of $3.99 games here. And some of these games were on sale. And by sale, I mean buy five for ten dollars. Yes, five games for ten dollars. And, you know, if you add that up, the whole bunch of three nine nines, that's more than ten dollars. So, five, five games. Let's see, let's calculate that little bit of math. <laughs> A lot of money! <laughs> So let's see, 3 times 5 is 15, and you add the 99 cents, that's probably about 20, or more. And you're paying that for half the price, 10 bucks, for a lot of these games. Holy shit! Yes. So yeah, who wouldn't want to take advantage of a deal like that? That's fucking awesome. Alright, so like I said, Fantavision for three nine nine, uh PS2, three nine nine for Tony Hawk, PS2, uh, this is the Project 8. Uh the Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim 399. And I swear, with Skyrim, I have like four or five maps now. Four or five fucking maps of Skyrim now. So I have this game on PS3 right now, right? Uh, when I went dumpster diving, I found a copy, yeah, it was broken, but I found a basically complete in box copy of Skyrim that came with the map. The PS4 version came with the map. The 360 version came with the map. So I have like four or five different copies of, of a map of Skyrim. Just four or five different, different maps in Skyrim. And uh, they're all the same. Yeah, there's no difference between the versions of Skyrim. Um, but yeah. Now, some of these games, like, okay, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, for example, four nine nine. but wait until you see what's in here. It's complete in box, it's got the manual and all that, but it comes with a soundtrack and the game itself. So, two discs. Um, yeah. And as I guess was a, a instrumental soundtrack inside, ex exclusively at Walmart, so... That's good, that's great. I love this. I love that I can get games cheaper than what they're supposed to be. I, I don't really think that all this content, especially, especially for a game that's complete in box, the box, the game, any other discs, the downloads, and everything like that, for 
I don't think you'll find a price like that elsewhere unless you go to a yard sale or garage sale and they're just trying to get rid of shit. Anyways, Monopoly for $5.99 on the PS1. Yeah, I needed to kind of boost my PS1 collection a little bit because my, my PS1 is kind of lacking in the library. I've only got like four or five, maybe six games for it. Meanwhile, I have a shit ton for the PS2, a fuck ton for the 360, a, a shit fuck ton or fuck shit ton for the PS4. Like, goddamn. Uh, Socom U.S. Navy Seals for 3.99 PS2. You know, you can see what the just by the box alone what console they're for. Why do I gotta say? Oh, this is the PS3. This is for the PS2. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm for the PS3, about nine nine nine. Uncharted three for three nine nine. Uh, DT Racer three nine nine. Battlefield two Modern Combat four nine nine. And that's not even the best ones. Uh, Hitman Contracts and Hitman two. Uh, both four nine nine. Jeez, I am getting fucking stacked of games. I think I took a picture. I'm pro probably show it on like Facebook or Instagram or something like that of all the games and how tall they are. When you combine every game I got this week, uh, including the ones from my coworker, and and, and it, it, it's it's huge. It's a fucking long ass list of games. It's it's going to make you question what the fuck. Uh, Fugitive Hunter War on Terror for $3.99. Assassin's Creed 2 for $4.99. So I think I have the majority of Assassin's Creed games on the 360. I have Assassin's Creed 3, 2, the original, uh, 4. Wait, where is 4? Ah, yep. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, $4.99. And it comes with both, both discs and whatnot. Um. Yeah, I got Brotherhood, so I should probably need a few more Assassin's Creed games to complete the collection on the 360. Um, but yeah, uh, Uncharted 2, Game of the Year Edition, 399. Uh, I'm saving the best for last though, so hold on to your ass cheeks. Uh, Iron Man Greatest Hits, 499. Good old Iron Man, apparently made by Sega, or whatever. Uh, Max Payne, the greatest hits, uh, $6.99. Which I, I would pay $6.99 for. Um, this is a really good game. I love Max Payne. It's a really good game. Uh, let's see, $3.99 for Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. I love a bit of pinball, you know, from time to time, so I figured, hey... It's not a sports game, it's not Madden, it's not NFL, or anything like that, not NCAA hockey racing, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know a damn thing about sports, you're lucky if I can tell you about racing and bowling, I, I love bowling, but I, I didn't see any bowling games, I would have bought them if I did, <laughs> um, but yeah, I love a little bit of pinball every now and then. Uh, Ghost Reek, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I always gotta put Tom Clancy in there. You know, not just Ghost Recon, even though everybody knows, hey, that's Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. I can get away with saying the title of Ghost Recon because people know what I'm talking about. But I feel like for some people that don't know what I'm talking about, they're like, what? Ghost Recon? I mean, there's a game called Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Yeah, it's the same fucking game, okay? But this is the advanced warfare side of things. Warfighter. Um, Eve of Extinction for three nine nine. A lot of these games are PS2 because, you know what? First off, they're really cheap to collect for. Um, you know, as you can see here, three nine nine up the ass and the, the cheap ones. And even the expensive ones that I'm about to show you, they're, yeah, they're expensive, but they're worth the money. Like, Persona 3, for example. Persona 3 FES, 
Uh, I think I bought my copy for 20, 30 bucks, complete in box. Uh, 20, you know, 20, 30 bucks, that's, that's a decent amount of money for an old school game. But, Persona 3 is really good, and considering the amount of content that you get for FES in particular, it's worth the 20, 30 bucks you're, you're paying for. In addition, it's complete in box. If anything is complete in box, it's gonna be up in price a lot of the time. Because not only are you buying the game, but you're buying the case or the, uh, the, the yeah, basically you're buying the case. I was gonna say the box. Same thing. Uh, you're buying the game, the box slash case, the manual, uh, any downloadable promotional codes that come with it, etc., etc. Basically, and, and any bonus things like let's say I bought DDLC. Uh, complete in box right now, even though I've already got it. Let's say I bought it. That's gonna cost me more than just buying DDLC Plus by itself, because there's so much more to add to the game, um, you know, that was included. So, yeah, I've already got a shit ton of games just piled up, but wait until you see the last three. And I am shocked by this, and, and DJ Judson, you fucking asshole. You're gonna flip your dick, you're gonna turn your asshole inside out, and you are going to lose your sanity. First game, Tenchu 2, uh, Birth of the Stealth Assassins for the PS1, it's $14.99, good price if I do say so myself, obviously because I bought it, duh, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't a good deal. I'm probably sure it may not be. I don't know the prices for these a lot of these games, but I can tell you that the, the market for retro gaming is fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, a lot of retro game stores and places in general, you want to buy a PS2 game, oh, that's $10, uh, a Wii game, 10 bucks, GameCube, 10 bucks, and I'm like, even for this uh, NFL game that's like Madden 2001, 2002, even one of those old school Madden games that are so, that's, that, that are more outdated than the ones that are out now, you're telling me I have to pay like 10 bucks for this, why, it's just the same thing as Madden 01, Madden 00, Madden 1542, you know, they're all the same game pretty much, uh, minor differences, but whatever. So, to see a lot of games like this, $3.99 and $4.99 and things like that, and ones that are on sale. I didn't even pay $3.99 for some of these games. I paid, like, $2.50. Yeah, $2.50 for some of these games because of the whole sale thing and, you know, the whole buy, f uh, buy five for ten bucks sort of thing. So, I, I got some good deals out of all these games that I got. And keep in mind, like I said before... All these games, all 40 plus games, including these and the ones from my coworker, for less than 200. Less than 200 fucking dollars. I got all these games. You gotta know where to look. And you can find a lot of these good games cheap. Cheaper than you would go on eBay or Amazon. <clears throat> uh, for $13.99 at Tenchu Fatal Shadows. Um, so yeah, PS2, uh, $8.99, the cheapest Tenchu game I have, uh, Wrath of Heaven, as well. Now, I, I didn't buy Tenchu 1, or the original Stealth Assassins, or whatever the fuck it's called, because, well, they didn't have it, and you can't really buy something they don't have. So I might just go on eBay or something, look it up, and be like, okay, I'll buy this game. And can you believe one of these Tenchu games was actually on the Wii? I saw a Tenchu game on the Wii, and I'm like, what? Wait, that's the same game I'm getting on the PS2? On the Wii? What? <laughs> but yeah, like... It's ridiculous to see how many games I'm buying. I'm poor now. I have no money. And here's the reason why. <laughs> uh, but who needs money when you have 40 plus games <laughs> to add to your collection? Oh, God. 
But yeah, to recap, 40 plus games, I, I think I counted like 42 or 43 games in total this week. Uh, and then <clears throat> I also had um, just in general a lot of stuff I bought. Like again, the uh, Hatsune Miku thing. I mean, in theory, I do have a little bit of money. But I'm saving that for one of my other friends. Uh, and she's going to hopefully give me a PS4 with some games and all that. So if we can figure something out there, um, you know, I'll have more games to show you guys and gals in the future. So, yeah, I'm just like... Video games up the ass, down the balls, through the spaghetti hole... And out your ass. Out your ass that just came up your ass. But if it goes up your ass, it goes out your ass. That's a lot of ass. But anyways, guys and gals, to recap, a uh, bunch of games, like 40 plus games, uh, Hatsune Miku things, some, some Eevees, uh, Tetris sign, a Legend of Zelda thing, uh, wall art that I'm probably not going to do anything with, because I don't really... I, I only buy it because it's Zelda. At some point, I will buy the Master Sword. I need to get that. Um, somewhere is a cat plush. Uh, some other cat stuff. Some tiaras. I mean, you saw the video. At least I hope you did. If not, this is going to be really weird for you guys and gals to see a whole stockpile of games. I mean, maybe not, because you probably assume, oh shit. And that's one thing to assume. It's like, yeah. Whenever I do one of these videos, always assume that there's going to be a video game involved. Because 9 times out of 10, there's video games involved. But anyways, guys and gals, I'm not even going to bother doing the outro because why would I want to do that at this point? Who cares anymore? And, as always, I'm stacking up the games. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. Eh. Jesus. Just, uh, don't mind me. I have, uh, video games that are stacked to, eh, whatever the fuck I have them stacked to. Like, if you put all the games together, I, I can basically, I can, I can rest myself on these things. I can, I can use these games as pillows. <laughs> That's how much I have right now that I bought. Like, cause God fucking... I'm dropping them. I have so many games. I don't know why! I just... I don't play a lot of the games I've already got because it's so overwhelming with all the games that I have and then all of a sudden, bam! I'm buying all these. And Tenchu. <laughs> But that's not a video game. That's... Ten shit. Oh! Yeah, ten shoe. More like ten shit. Oh! But yeah. So... I just... I... So many games. <laughs>